Move your feet out of the way. <laughs> What does Wild Time look like to us? Well, for this Christmas holidays, we joined in with the Wildlife Trust Challenge, Seven Days of Wild Christmas. It gave us a good incentive to keep us out and active over the festive period. And also, we do rather like a challenge. Over the course of our Wild Time week, we did a woodland walk where we went looking for mushrooms and we whittled sticks. We made up nature riddles after looking at plants in fields on a walk. We went for bug hunts um, in some of our local woods where we found one hibernating ladybird, one sleepy woodlouse, one spider, one centipede, two flies and an earthworm. We looked at our nature magazines. We galloped our way through muddy morning walks. We also went down to Kimmeridge Bay on a nurdle hunt. We were quite thankful to not find any, but we did a litter pick instead, filling two buckets of things like plastic rope, shoes, packaging, straws and the like. Um, we started discussing our New Year's resolution here and we've decided to cut back on our plastic usage and litter pick more often. We also looked for fossils and we went stone skimming and bird watching. Um, watching the birds inspired us to make some bird feeders to hang in our garden. We do find it quite easy to take our children outside and to join in with little nature challenges like this one. But is this because of where we live? I think getting outside and challenging ourselves like this sometimes really helps to build an awareness of the benefits of nature for our children. And I like to think, at least I hope, that this inspires our children to always have a love of nature like what we had growing up. It's important to have. We never have to bribe them to get outside. They're always quite happy to go. And to just be outside, everybody's happier. I mean, less happy in the car getting to go outside sometimes, but being outside as a family, we are generally just always so much happier. Especially when I'm up high in trees, it gives me proper fresh air. My children know when they need wild time. I mean, this is the child that will stop us on a long card journey just so he can put his feet in grass. Do you think your adventures with Mummy and Daddy teach you lots about nature, Hazel? Yeah. How do you know that being outside is good for you? To so get exercise. Robin, do you think you ask about going outside more or about going on computers more? I think both, or maybe they're equal. Can going outside become as habitual as using the Xbox? I think it's possible.